Good day, this is Zombiticus. It's been a while since I've made um, a video. In fact, the last one is about my cell phone. This hasn't been about a watch. But uh, now we have a new acquisition. Uh, first, before I go any further, let's show you what I'm currently wearing. I'm currently wearing my SRP713, my, uh, my beautiful cream dial field watch. Of, the, of my existing watches, this has been my favorite. Um, definitely, up until now. And now, without further ado, let's show off what my uh, uh, my new uh, my new toy is. This is my very lovely SRP A25 um, International Seiko dress watch. Um, let's go look over some details here. It's um, an automatic, as you can see on the dial here. Um, 23 joule movement, four uh, R. The case is, of course, stainless steel. As uh, the diameter is 42 millimeters, uh, a little smaller than uh, than its sibling here at uh, 43. Um, and I do consider them siblings. Uh, the uh, similar manufacturer, same, uh, similar international markets, um, different, slightly different styles of watches, but you know, very similar um, in the details. So anyway, 42, uh, 42. Um, millimeter diameter. Um, the thickness is about 13 from what I'm reading. The crystal is hard lex on the front here and on the display back. Uh, let's take a look here. Lug uh, width is uh, 20 millimeters. Uh, water resistant to 100 uh, meters. You know, um, which, I've, which is very similar to the other watches I already possess. Um, let's take a look here. So I love this color. It's got this beautiful uh, blue-gray dial. Um, it's one of the reasons why I picked this watch is because I wanted um, a blue dial. I wanted a dress watch, and I also wanted something in blue. And this, you know, um, covers both bases. I love the uh, the hour markers, the dial markers on there. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. It has no loom. This is a dress watch. There's no loom on it whatsoever. Um, let's talk about the bracelet. I normally don't like bracelets. I haven't liked bracelets really until now. But this one is really comfortable and it's nice. You know, it's got uh, brushed segments and polished and brushed again. The case is similar, uh, brushed and polished um, segments. And um, uh, I think it's really lovely. The bracelet itself is actually very comfortable. I can wear it all day at work and, uh, and it's not uncomfortable. I'm going to pause for a moment. We're going to take it off here and uh, do a little wristwatch check. All right, and we're back. I uh, put the 713 in the box and uh, we now have the A25 in the hand here. I wanted to uh, show you the links here. These are very solid. You know, this is actually a better quality bracelet uh, than I than I had on my first watch, my open heart. Um, that's another reason why I'm wearing it. The, the quality is much is much higher. Um, I do wish it had a, a more interesting crown. That one is very bland. So I would, if they took this watch and I made an upgraded version of it with a six R movement, sapphire glass, and a signed crown. It, I would pay the extra money, and it would definitely be worth it. But as it is, for um, this is a really good entry-level watch. Um, the advertised price for it, I'm not actually sure. Um, Long Island Watches had it uh, showing us the advertised price is 380, and they were selling it for 170, uh, if you could even get it. Um, I tried when I was looking for this watch to purchase it. Um, Long Island Creation Watches, Joma Shop, a lot of the. Um, uh, low-cost dealers um, were out. This watch had just sold out. I just happened to get lucky and find um, a buyer on eBay um, who sold it to me um, for 150 a box and uh, a box and everything included. Um, and it's gorgeous. I'm really liking this. Right, I'm going to pause for a moment. Then we're going to put the watch on, and we're back. And uh, here we are on the wrist. I've had it resized. I had to take two links out. Um, I'm not sure. I think my wrist is about seven and a quarter, seven and a half, somewhere around there. Um, and I think on my wrist, the 42 millimeter watch looks pretty nice. So, you know, a couple scuff marks or anything. Sort of I've worn it extensively at work in the two weeks I've had it, and you know, uh, that happens. And you know what? 
I'm okay with that because a watch is meant to be worn, and you know, and that and uh, marks like that just add character. But um, anyway, now this is my new baby, my SRP A25, uh, an entry level uh, Seiko um, dress watch with, uh, intended for the international market. Um, right now, um, I don't think it's currently sold in the U.S. Uh, every place I've seen is either in Europe or it's um, or it's a gray market dealer who's probably acquired them overseas and selling them here. Um, if you can find them, um, on, you can find them anywhere from like 150 and up. Uh, but um, most of the places that I have it at a reasonable cost, you know, 150, 160, 170 are sold out. And I was only able to, uh, for the most part, the dealers that had it on eBay were looking at like two, uh, 250 US and up. Um, so, you know, um, uh, if you're interested in the watch, it's out there. You may have to wait for it to become available at a lower cost, or you may have to uh, pay a little bit more for it. Um, but I have no complaints. I, you know, this is everything I was really looking for, you know. It's a clean dial, lovely hour markers, um, you know, nice bracelet, it's comfortable, it looks nice. Uh, you know, this is perfect for me to wear in the office. Uh, anyway, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I probably will be making um, some other videos um, on uh, on my previous watches and showing what they're like, like uh, six months or a year later. Um, and my opinions on them um, and then maybe like in a few months we'll we'll do a follow-up video on this one as well but in the meantime uh, this has been uh, Zombiticus this is my uh, SRP A25 and with a guest appearance by my SRP 713 thanks a lot have a great day